All self-defenders need not only firearm skills, but first aid skills and equipment. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Leland, North Carolina. Shows us an officer involved shooting here that teaches us a bunch of very important lessons. Number one, about the dangers that law enforcement officers face every day of their career. Number two, about staying in the fight no matter what and winning even if you're badly injured. And number three, not only having medical equipment, not only having medical skills, but keeping that equipment on your person so that you have it when you need it. Officer Schwenk has seen this man hit mailboxes and stuff. He's pulling him over for drinking and driving. There's a lot of information on this one on my website, so make sure you click through and check that out. There's some audio here that I want us to listen to. Then we'll come back and start learning some lessons in a moment. Go ahead, step out of the vehicle. Put the beard out. Step out of the vehicle. Keep your hands where I can see them. You saw Officer Schwenk there absolutely stay in the fight. This guy came out and shot him in the legs five times. Shot him once in the vest as well. Thank God he was wearing his vest. That one could have been fatal. But he shot multiple times in the legs. But he stayed in the fight. Shot the perp multiple times, including twice that he hit him in the face and ended him. Now, there's another officer that you saw just off camera there who's checking some things out, checking in on the suspect. We're going to slow it down here. He's going to put him in cuffs. That's Officer McGee. And Officer McGee is going to get him in cuffs. They always do that with suspects because you never know if somebody's going to come back. Obviously, somebody shot in the face probably isn't. But they're going to do that anyways. And then once he's going to get the handcuffs on him, now we got to start first aid. So first of all, we learn on this one, you've got to stay in the fight even when you're badly injured. Now we're going to start talking in a minute about first aid. So let's listen in again and come back in just a second and learn some more lessons. So Officer McGee goes and gets his emergency medical kit out of his car there, and he's going to help him put that tourniquet on, and that tourniquet is going to save his life. So here we start talking about, number one, I want you to keep your emergency medical supplies on you, if at all possible. If you leave it in the car, you get out of the car, could take you some time. I don't know that Officer Schwenk could have gone and gotten his tourniquet if he'd have needed it. Thankfully, he had a partner here to do that. Secondly, this is how long it's going to take. I've sped this up significantly. It's about nine minutes between the time when an officer says, officer down, I need EMS, and EMS actually arrives. And so therefore, you gotta have the life-saving tools at your disposal and the knowledge of how to use them in order to save yourself. Thankfully, Officer McGee was able to help Officer Schwenk. They were able to get the tourniquet on him and his life was saved. Perp didn't make it, Officer did make it here. So you gotta make sure that you have emergency medical skills. You gotta make sure that you get a TCCC class so that you have austere medical skills so that you can get where they have bright lights and cold steel but you got to get yourself there with some blood volume. Thankfully, this officer was able to do that. People were going to come to his aid, and he lived through this one. So stay in the fight no matter what. Be ready for anything. Put those shots on target, and then when it's all over, take care of yourself. Have the medical skills at your disposal like this officer did, and keep your tools close at hand. Thankfully, this officer here had a partner who could come and help him. You may not have that, so make sure you keep your tools on you for when you need them so that you can get to the hospital with some blood volume and cover your asp. Thanks for watching today's active self-protection lesson. I hope it helps you with your attitude, your skills, and your plan to keep you and your family safe. If you'd like another lesson in a similar vein, click right here to go see our most popular narrated videos. If you like what you see and you don't want to miss them going forward, please subscribe via the button right here and turn those notifications on so that you get notified every time a new active self-protection lesson posts.